It is much easier to work on a case with the side panels removed. You will not need them again until the build is complete, so store them in a safe place, especially the tempered glass panel. Note that it has plastic protection on it, and I don't remove that plastic until the build is done. Next, we're going to turn the case around and remove the side panel. That's the side of the case where all the wiring goes on. In the NZXT, it's just a one button push to remove that metal side panel. Also, store that away. You won't need it until the end. Then we're going to move the case and move down to the bottom where we're going to take off the bracket for the power supply unit. That bracket is going to be screwed onto the power supply unit when we install it in a later video. It will slide right back into the back. Okay, then the uh, last thing that we're going to do is we need to prepare the top of the case for the radiator for the all-in-one water cooler. So we're going to take off the uh, top panel which is not held by any screws just some plastic brackets hold it so we're going to push that off and uh, then we're going to come back and there's a bracket under that part that is used for attaching the radiator and the fans for the radiator to the case so all we have to do is unscrew that in a later video you're going to see us use that bracket when we do the all-in-one cooler install okay that's it for preparing the case now we're ready to start installing components in our case